Hi, I'm Simon from SAL National, and today we're going to talk about the LED strip controller from SAL, which is both Pixie and Pixie Plus compatible. So today we're going to talk about the SAL Pixie Smart RGB LED strip controller. As you can see, it's got two moment you press inputs on the top left hand corner and we'll demonstrate how they operate. Below that we've got a memory switch functionality such that if power outage, if a power outage occurs, it will either not or will remember the level it was at at the power outage. And then we've got a control button there so that uh, when you've installed it, you can actually test everything and, and even bind things just manually with it, the Pixie system. On the right hand side, we have our RGB connections and the uh, place for the 12 to 24 volt power supply to be connected to match the attached LED strip that you're attaching to it. So on our little demo kit here, we have our 12 to 24 volt controller. We have the RGB LED strip controller, which is fully Pixie and Pixie Plus enabled. And we have an LED strip at the back. So I'm going to take you through the functionality of it very, very quickly. So first of all, of course, my dry contact, keeping in mind that all of this functionality is also available from the Pixie app. So I can turn it on and off directly from the dry contact input on one of the inputs. I can press and hold to dim the attached LEDs, press and hold to take it back up and turn it off. If I turn it on and then dim it down, and then turn it off at that level. It will return on at that level. And if I want to immediately go to maximum, I can double tap it and it will immediately go to full. I can also then triple click it and it will cycle through the red, green, blue from the attached LED. I can also then of course dim those, those levels. I can turn it off at a level. I can turn it on at a level and it remembers where it was at, and I can double tap for maximum output. The secondary input enables us to, to execute some color chases. So if I press one, you can see we've got a, a color chase going, and then I can simply give it a single click to go through some different color chases. Some strobing, some flashing. Now I can also change the speed of these directly from this dry contact input, just as I can from the Pixie and the Pixie Plus app. If I double tap it, you can see it goes slightly slower. Do it again, it'll be slower again. Do it again, and it's slower again. I can then cycle to a different one, and this is just double tap to speed it up. And there we go. Now I can turn it off from there. And if I turn it back on, it immediately kicks back into that same color chase that was happening. To reset it, I can just double click it, immediately goes back to white at full output. And I can turn it off and I can start again. So all of that functionality directly from the controller. Of course, there's also a, a white only version of this available which has the same functionality, only it has a, a single input instead of, instead of two inputs. Now, of course, the great thing about these is that they can all be synced together as well. So they, inside the Pixie app, you can go ahead and you can create groups and scenes with these devices. So if for some reason you can't access physically different areas, whether it's in a home, in a kitchen, or a, um, a pool area, or even a hospitality environment. And rather than trying to physically connect all of these LED strips together so that you can control them as one circuit, you simply install them separately with these higher powered LED strip controllers, which are all Pixie Smart enabled. And then you can simply create groups in the controller from either the, the phone via the Pixie and the Pixie Plus app, via a dry contact input with any faceplate that you desire, or you can of course pair it to a Pixie multifunction switch or, or Pixie uh, multifunction remote control as well. So there it is, the, the new SAL Pixie LED strip controller, fully Pixie enabled, white and RGB LED strip controllers.